The COVID-19 pandemic and associated school closures caused substantial learning losses globally. The World Bank reports that 64% of 10-year-olds globally cannot read for meaning in any language. In low- and middle-income countries, this is 70%. In Sub-Saharan Africa, it is 89%. A particular challenge in Sub-Saharan Africa is lack of representative longitudinal datasets to provide insights into where the students are on the learning curve when they return to schools. According to the 2014 OESO report, 50% of grade 2 children in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania failed one of the basic numeracy and literacy tests and one in every four children aged 13 and under cannot recognize words and numbers. The latest 2021 OESO assessment conducted by Usawa Agenda a member of the PAL network in Kenya reveals that only two out of five learners in Kenya meet expectations on reading a grade three English text and only five out of 10 learners meet expectations on solving grade three numeracy tests. Basic reading and math skills are the building blocks to other skills. They give children the foundations for lifelong learning. The evidence therefore shows that we still have a long way to go in improving learning outcomes in foundational literacy and numeracy. The PAL network has been conducting a series of learning interventions to help children who risk of being left behind. The interventions, if adopted at scale, is an initial and bold step towards addressing the learning crisis. At PAL Network, we believe that education is so important that cannot be left to governments alone. It requires the engagement of everyone, including the parents, the society, the civil society organizations. Everyone can do something uh, to solve this problem. Zizi Afrik Foundation Kenya has been implementing the Accelerated Learning Program ALP. ALP is among the many learning interventions implemented by PAL Network member organizations. The Teaching at the Right Level Inspired program has currently reached more than 25,000 children from 269 schools in the country. Children who cannot read or do basic math attend a 30-day learning camp in the Accelerated Learning program. Two teacher assistants facilitate the camp using fun and playful activities to teach children how to read with understanding and reason with numbers. You can see the learners running to the room where they meet with the teacher during uh, ZZ classes. This shows that they have embraced the program and they love it. Candy is one of the children in ZZ Afrique's ALP program. She struggled to read short sentences at first. Thanks to the rigorous and interactive accelerated learning approach, she has caught up with her studies. She is now able to read and comprehend a story. Janet had a birthday party at her home. I went there with my brother. Learning outcomes have improved in three ALP intervention counties of Turkana, Bungoma and Tana River. In our sub-county, Tana Delta, it has helped us a lot. Most of our learners who are participating in this program are now reading and can do numerical problems. Kwanza mimi, jambo la mwalimu kuja nyumbani, nimeona nizuri kwa sababu kwanza mwalimu anapata kuelewa ile area ama maeneo ya mwanafunzi pale anapoishi. More children who are struggling are now being reintegrated into the regular schooling program the ability to read and do basic math. The PAL Network's commitment to foundational literacy and numeracy is strengthened by the success in learning outcomes that we have observed in over 154,000 children across all member organizations in eight countries. When I grow up, I, will, I would like to be a doctor. I would like to be a doctor. Nataka kwa askari kwa sababu nataka kulinda taifa letu.